Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a little while since I've done a video, but life gets in the way, right? 2020 led into 2021 and things are just as chaotic as ever. Um, I'm also running a, a, a game now using Foundry, which is really cool. I'm sure if you're following this channel, you've seen two of the videos pop up. Um, but yeah, I thought um, there was a new module that I saw today come up and I thought, I want to do a video on it. I've got a little bit of time, so let's do it. So again, I'm Corey Longnecker. I am your guide here through um, through this part of Foundry. So let's take a look. What I'm going to be talking about today is called Scene Tyler. It's a new module. I just saw it come out today. Uh, it's by Zeal. I'll put the link to the GitHub page in the description, um, but it is available through the Foundry um, through the Foundry store, so to speak, where you can install it there. Um, that's it right here. Really, really simple, really, really powerful, really, really cool. I've been looking for something like this for a while. And I'm really excited about it. And let's just jump right in and take a look and see what we've got here. All right. So let's close out of here. It is enabled. I've got some stuff going on here. Um, let me switch to a full browser so you can see everything. And we'll talk about it. So I won't show you what's going. Well, maybe I will show you what's going on over here. Um, yeah, let's. Eh, don't need to do it. It's fine. Again, I'm trying to do this in one shot because I. It's easier than me trying to take the time to edit everything. So basically, what I've got here, what you see, is a um, is a scene. I've created a scene here. I'll pull this over so you can see it. Um, this is my grid test scene. I've created a new one called Plane. Let's switch to it. And it's straight up just a grassy field. Um, all of my maps come from either... Um, this one is from Dynamic Dungeons. Check out their Patreon. It's great. Um, all their stuff is fantastic. So I've got a field here, and I've got um, squares set to 50 pixels five foot squares and I've created a few other scenes village one and village two so now what this scene picker allows you to do is it treats dragging and dropping of other scenes onto other scenes as tiles and once you lock it in place it transfers everything that was on that scene over so if you had tokens and walls and lights and other effects like uh, maybe you had some tiles already on it with like smoke or some I'll show you here in a second I've got a, 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 a portal um, that's animated it'll bring all those things over and it will automatically scale it to whatever scene that you have here so it's really really cool and you do everything through the tile um, all controls come through the tile um, tile controls so just for example if I want to bring village one over I can just drag and drop and now I've got my scene here you'll see that I can't do anything so but if I click onto the tiles and I make sure on the selector I can move it around wherever I like so let's say I want to put it maybe right up here because this other one's gonna come into place so now let me drag village two onto here now I've got village two you'll see there's a little bit of overlap um, but I'm going to try to combine those two and see if I can get a fairly cohesive um, map there. It's not perfect, but I think it's going to be close. So let's just let's zoom in a little. Let me bring this one to the front. Now, that's an important point here. So let me show you. You'll see here up in the controls, there's hide, which hides it, lock, which locks it in place, which then carries everything over, and then there's bring to front or push to back. So we want to bring this one to the front, and now I have control to do what I want with it. So I can, let's just kind of come down here and see, see what's going on. That's pretty close. These line up pretty well. Um, they're not perfect. The trees are pretty close. Um, I'm going to call that good in terms of combining these two scenes. 
Okay, so what you'll see is now I've got this village with some stuff surrounding it. And let's lock these down. So I can right click and lock. And you'll hear from chat, it pulled over a few of the things here. Um, let's go down to this scene. And you can right click on it, even though it's behind, you can right click on it. Come on. There we go. And lock that one in place. And it's brought those things over too. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look in here and see what we've got. So if I zoom in and switch back to here, I've got a tile here that I had brought over. I've got an NPC or a PC here that it brought their vision and everything else over. Um, I've got some uh, other tokens here that I had set up on patrols. I've got a portal that's animated here. I've got a few more PCs and NPCs just sitting there. And these are animated maps sitting on a non-animated map. Uh, I just created these uh, from Dynamic Dungeons. I used Handbrake to make them into uh, um, WebM format and because it saved some space and I brought them in. So now I've got this. And if I hit enter, or if I unpause the game, I think I should be able to see, is it this guy that I turned on? Let's see if it remembers his patrol. Nope, it doesn't. So the one thing it didn't bring over was a patrol. I'm not too worried about it. You could reset it back up after the fact. But it's just really cool. I can now build much larger... Um, I can build much larger maps to do what I want to do. Like, instead of having to switch between these two scenes, now I've got one scene where they're... they're and yes, the grids don't exactly line up, and you could play with that a little bit. That's why I like gridless maps. Um, but if you've got, like, for instance, Dynamic Dungeons has their, uh, like their dungeon builders with the tiles, you could put a generic background up and then just start dragging these tiles up and arranging them, and you can build a dungeon uh, in, a, in a much better way than doing it. So super, super happy about this, this uh, scene tiler um, module. I'm going to be using the heck out of it. And there's, no, there's nothing to do with configuration. There's nothing to configure with it. You simply drag your stuff over, and then you can modify it. So right-clicking or... Um, Going back to place tile, if I want to unlock it, it will remove everything, and I can move it around again and put it back where I want it. Um, and you have all the other effects you do too. So, yeah, really cool stuff, really simple, and I don't really know if there's much more to talk about. I just wanted to share that with you because I thought it was really cool, and I think it's going to open a lot of doors for people um, to improve their games. So thanks for stopping by. And check out our game. We're using the Quest system. Um, we're not using the built-in with Quest. I'm talking to the, the developer of the game within Foundry. There's some, some bugs in there. We're trying to work them out. But i um, super happy about this. And, yeah, it's cool. Check it out. It's called The Agency. Uh, we rock Foundry in there when we do battle stuff. And everyone's been blown away by it, um, all the players in the game. So, um, yeah, so thanks for stopping by. And we'll talk to you later.